what's up with a happy Roblox family. student. Wow, congratulations, Molly. Yay! Hopefully you can actually succeed. Well, uh, <laughs> no promises. Whoa, I wonder who that could be. It's probably Brookie. She texted me earlier and said her mom is going on this health kick, so she's only putting fruits and vegetables in the house, yeah. and she knows we have donuts. <laughs> Coming, Brookie! Where's Brookie? Maybe she's already in the kitchen eating a donut. No, no, Brookie. What? what? Did Amazon deliver a package? Oh boy, I love presents. Maybe my mom got me one because I've been doing my homework lately. Whoa, Molly, where's Brookie? Um, she's not here, but... You got a present, I know. Did Brookie bring that? No, it was just out front. I think maybe Amazon delivered it. Let me see that. To Molly and Daisy? From a secret admirer? <gasps> Someone wants to ask me to the dance. La 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 la. Well, then why would it be to both of us? Oh yeah, good point. I thought it was because I was doing my homework, but you always do your homework, so why should you get a prize? Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't seem fair. Well, let's open it and find out who it's from. Daisy, it's an invitation. An invitation to what? I hereby announce that you've been invited to a royal sleepover? What? That's amazing. Yeah, but who invited us? Love your secret admirer. I don't know. Hmm, something seems kind of fishy about this, Molly. I don't know if we should go. Are you kidding me? I know exactly who it's from. It could be for some crazy person who just wants us to go to their house. Or it could be from that new famous YouTuber that just moved into Brookhaven, but she wants to keep her new friends on the down low, so she's invited us over to her mansion. I don't know, Molly, but you could be right, so we should at least go and check it out. And the sleepover's tonight, so we've got to go pack a bag. Come on, Daisy. This is so exciting. Why did you put the package in the elevator? Oopsie. I didn't mean to stash the box in there. I guess I was supposed to take it to the trash. <laughs> now it's stuck in the elevator. Okay, that's kind of funny. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right. All right. I'm ready, Molly. Jeepers creepers. I still don't know about this. Daisy, you jumped over the railing. You're not supposed to do that. Mom said you'll get a timeout. Well, I'm just so excited I couldn't think as to wait, and I just want to get to the sleepover. I thought you thought it was going to be creepy. Well, I'm not sure yet, but I can't wait to find out. And look at Molly, a limo actually came to pick us up. Holy guacamole. Fancy. This is going to be an amazing sleepover. I just know it. Come on, Daisy, get in. Molly, seriously, are you going to hang your head out the sunroof the entire ride? Whee! <laughs> it's freezing out here, but I don't care. This is amazing. <laughs> Daisy, are you driving? Well, the driver decided that he was going to not show up, so I'm just going to drive us over there. I have the address and everything. Well, drive careful. You don't want to chop my head off on one of those bridges. But then you better actually get in here. Can't. Have to have so much fun. Whee! <laughs> Never drove in a limo before. Whee! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Is this where the sleepover is? I think so, Molly. This is where the address was. Wow. I bet they're going to have the most delicious pizza ever. 
Oh, great. What are you losers doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for the exclusive sleepover, duh. And you guys are way too well losers to <laughs> the sleepover. Oh, yeah? Well, here's our invitation, Sarah. We got one, too. Wait, you got an invitation, Sarah? Uh, yeah, duh. Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie, what are you doing here? I got an invitation to a really cool sleepover at this amazing mansion. But wait a minute. I thought this was a hotel that closed down years ago. Well, obviously somebody bought it and moved in here and made it a house. I think that's amazing. I don't know about this, guys. Something is telling me in my tummy that this isn't right. What are you talking about? It's probably an invite from that new famous YouTuber that moved into Brookhaven. That's exactly what I told her, Sarah. Whoa. We actually thought a like for once, Sarah. I don't think so. I would never think like you. You're an ignoramus. Hey, look, we all got invited to this sleepover, Sarah, which means we all need to get all long. I don't know, Maddie. I think we should go home. Don't be ridiculous. This place looks amazing. Who's going? Um, I am. I am. And so am I. Daisy and Brad. Okay, fine. But only because I don't want you guys to get in trouble without me. Come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it's amazing. What was that? What was the sound of the door locking? Wait, what? No, no that can't be right. Molly, I told you this was a bad idea. Um, well, like, let's nobody panic. I mean, it's probably just a lock-in party. Those are very exclusive. Yeah, guys, look at the size of this television. It's amazing. Uh, Brooke, I don't think that's a television. I think that's actually, like, where you check in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oopsie. It kind of looked like a TV to me. But look at this. They have an indoor pool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, I'm sure it's just one of those lock-in parties, right, Daisy? I don't know. I told you I felt really crazy about this before we got here. And now it's in an old abandoned hotel. And where's the people who are hosting the party? Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the host? What just happened to the lights? <gasps> uh, I, 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 OMG, Molly. This is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, the lights just came back on. Maybe it's just short-circuited. Now, where is that host that's, like, supposed to be here to celebrate this sleepover with us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they didn't hear us show up. Um, I think they heard us because, well, uh, the door locked. Molly, I think I just saw the host! What? Well, what? Ridiculous. There's nobody standing behind Sarah. Oh, this is so lame. Where's all the pizza? Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? It was like a ghost or something. Ah! Oh my god, this was a really bad idea. Ah, ah. The doors are locked. We can't even get out of here. What are we gonna do now? It's, 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 it's a ghost. We are gonna try not to panic. Okay, everybody huddle together. We have to decide what to do. <laughs> Welcome to my sleepover. <laughs> Let's see if you can survive the night. That's it. We're all gonna die. Don't talk like that, Brookie. As long as we can stick together, there's four of us, and then and, and we outnumber her. Yeah, but she's some sort of creepy demon or ghost or something. We're not gonna survive this, Molly. I told you we shouldn't have come here, but you never listen to me. Well, I just think the sleepover is lame. Of course it's lame! It's given by a ghost or something! Well, guys, let's just think about this, okay? We just have to try to survive the night, and then maybe the doors will unlock in the morning. I've seen this movie, I think, before. Really? I don't know, but one like it. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find a bedroom. Well, we can't barricade the door or anything because the ghost can still get in. No, but we should try to get some rest. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the ghost. Well, first maybe we should check the refrigerator. 
I'm hungry. <laughs> a few minutes later. What? No refrigerator? This really is a creepy nightmare sleepover. Wait, I smell something. It smells kind of like food. Ooh. <laughs> Score. Mm. Well, that's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Molly, that could be poison. Stay away from that. Doesn't taste like poison. Okay, very good. Ay, 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 Molly, come on. Let's go up to the bedroom that we can find and 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 try to get some rest. Molly, if I have to be trapped in a creepy hotel with anyone, I'm glad it's my BFF. Oh. Me too, me too. Okay, let's stay in Emerald Room. That seems like a good room, right? Wow, everything's so green. <laughs> ah, she's in this room. Nope, Emerald Room is a definite no. Definite no on the Emerald Room. Let's find a different one. Holy guacamole. Next floor, please. Ooh. The Royal Room. This seems pretty cool. I am, I am royalty. Wow. This is a pretty posh bathroom. Yep, this one's a go for me. And if there's no ghost, that's even better. Look at this artwork, though. That artwork looks like it has eyes. It's kind of creeping me out. Molly, where's everyone else? I don't know. Maybe they got lost on the way. Or maybe they're not royalty, so they can't stay here. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that's it. But seriously, though, what's up with the artwork in this hotel? Like, this is art? It looks like a prison cell. <laughs> they need to upgrade their art here. Um, where's my sister, though? And where is Sarah? Wait, how do I get out of this room? All right, here's the door. Let's go see if I can find them. Daisy, Sarah, where are you? Come on, we're in the royal room. Molly, did you find Sarah and Daisy? No, I think we better go back to the first floor. Maybe they got lost on the way here. After we saw that ghost, everybody sort of just scattered. Rookie, look, it's a grown-up. Hi, hi, I'm Molly, and, and I got this creepy invitation. Well, I didn't think it was creepy, but it's actually creepy. And, 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 and I, I... Molly, slow down. He can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I got this invitation to come to a sleepover here, but when I got here, all there was was a creepy ghost, and she locked us in! Creepy ghost, you say, huh? Mmm, I see. Can you help us? Call 911! Or open the door or something! <laughs> <gasps> Molly, why is he laughing like that? <laughs> Seriously, why are you laughing like that? Do you have, like, a laughing thing that you do? Like, is that how you laugh? <laughs> yeah, his laugh is pretty weird. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that was a I don't know that it was a grown-up. <laughs> I fooled you. Can you see me now? <laughs> no one could ever see me. I was a lost soul. Lost soul? Did she used to go to our school? Oh my god! It's the legend of Marie! What? What are you talking about? The legend of Marie! Everybody knows the legend of Marie! Yeah, Molly. She just disappeared one day. They said everyone bullied her so much and didn't pay attention to her that she literally vanished. <gasps> what? Ah! Ah! We're stuck in this hotel with crazy Marie? Ah! Molly! What are we gonna do? I don't know, but I would say, whatever we do, no one falls asleep. Do you understand? Yes, Molly. I won't fall asleep. Trust me. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. So... Wake up, Brookie. This is no time for sleeping. And where is Sarah? I don't know, Molly. But I think maybe we... She took... Brookie! Don't close your eyes! Don't! Oh, sorry. I'm just so sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. And so tonight I was like, wondering if I was going to be able to stay awake for the sleepover. And the answer is probably no. Well, get serious about staying awake because there she is again! Ah! <laughs> I just want to be seen. Let's play. I never had a sleepover. Blah! Molly! Sorry, I tried to hold it in, but when I get nervous, I sort of fart a lot. <coughs> Ew, Molly, that smells like a bean burrito with rotten eggs on top. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I don't know where Sarah is, but Marie is 
not going to take us down. Huddle in close, friends. We're about to discuss our plan. Oh, Molly, you still smell like a rotten egg. Why are you making us come in close? Well, unless you want Marie to hear us. Marie doesn't know this, but I have a phone in my pocket. <gasps> uh, okay, Molly. All the phones in the hotel are out. She, she made sure we couldn't call, but... She doesn't know I have a special emergency phone because my dad is a police officer and he can take down anybody, living or dead. Yeah, you messed with the wrong goose this time, Marie. Distract Marie. Rookie, you're also going to try to distract Marie. I'm going to make the call while you got her distracted. But that means we have to separate. Look what happened to Sarah. She's been taken by Marie. She probably lives in the walls now. I thought I heard her yelling. Oh, that's creepy. Poor Sarah. But look, this has to be done. You go into the kitchen area. Brookie, you head up to the rooms. And I'll go by the front door and call Dad. Okay, I hope this plan works. Me too. Me too. Somebody like, help me. Sarah was in the walls. Oh, no. Poor Sarah. Okay. She should be distracted. It's ringing! Hello, Brookhaven Police. This is Dan speaking. Dad! I need your help! What's wrong, Molly? What's going on? Dad! An evil ghost invited us to a sleepover. Me and Daisy and Sarah and, and Brookie and, and, and we're stuck in the house. Molly, don't be pranking me. I'm at work. Dad, I'm being serious, please! Whoa, Molly, you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally! You have to track the, the phone and know where I am because I don't have the invitation anymore. I left it somewhere because, you know, whoopsie. Okay, Molly, I'll be there as soon as I can. She locked us in, Dad! You tried to leave my sleepover? How dare you! Uh-oh! Everybody, new plan! Run! Marley, what's going on? I came out to check on you and run! We where's Brookie? She's upstairs like you told us. Oh, Angie! Oh! Ah! What's going on? She's trying to, to keep us here for level. Um, Brookie, this isn't good. I mean, Daisy, who are you? I'm your sister. You're getting very confused. Brookie, where are you? That's what I meant. Oh, um, I don't know where she is. Brookie! Ah, this is crazy! Dad! Dad! Dad, help! Help the door! It's okay, girls. I've broken the lock. Dad! Oh, I'm so happy to see you right now! Girls, is everybody okay and accounted for? I'm okay. Just scared. Me too, but Dad, Sarah's still in there. Wait, what? I have to go in. Dad, no! Marie will trap you in there forever! Look, it is my job as a police officer to keep everyone in Brookhaven safe, especially kids. I have to go in. But she's a bully. Can't we just leave her there? Absolutely not, Molly! Bully or not, she needs to be rescued! I know, I know, but you're my dad! Dad! No! Oh my god, that's a creepy ghost! I know, Dad! Be careful! Your dad is going to be stuck here forever! <laughs> Yes, but I still have, um, let me look at my watch. Uh, five seconds to get into class. <laughs> no smiling? That's right. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very smiley mood today. Whoa, who's this substitute teacher? I don't know, but something tells me it's not going to be a very nice day. Are you still smiling? Seriously, there's no smiling in my class. You can't help it. My face froze this way, it's so cold outside. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Froze that way because it's so cold outside. Molly, she's not laughing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, you in the front. What's your name? Molly, um, are you calling on me? Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. 
You had plenty of time before class. Why are you choosing to go now? Well, I can't help it when I have to go to the bathroom. It's kind of out of my control. Why do teachers always say that? Like, like you can decide when you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? Not a choice. <laughs> I really have to go. She really does. Ew. She had beans for breakfast, obviously. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> yeah, like another thing teachers say, make it quick. Like, I can really decide when I have to go to the bathroom and stuff. Like, seriously. I'm gonna text Brookie right now. Hey, don't act like you don't text people when you're going potty. <laughs> don't even lie about that right now. Everybody gets on their phone when they're on the toilet. It's just, it's just like the real world. Oh, whoops, I forgot to turn off my phone. Oopsie. Whose phone just went off? This is school, not social hour. It's Molly, she's texting me from the bathroom. What? Why would she be doing that? Ay, ay, ay. She's just getting to get another detention. It's just the way that it is. Brookie, why didn't you text me back? Excuse me, were you the one that texted her? Um, yeah. There's no texting in this school. It's a rule. Except for when you're at lunch or recess. Are you at lunch or recess? Um, uh, I'm always thinking about lunch. So I'm saying yes, I'm at lunch. Detention. But not by me, I'm a substitute. So I'll write your teacher a note. Oh man. Rookie, that class was crazy, right? Uh-huh, sure, crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Um. so what are you doing after school? I don't have detention because the substitute didn't want to stay for it, so we could hang out. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. <gasps> Wait, what? Rookie, we hang out every single day after school. Well, on the days that I don't have detention, that is. No, I, I'm not going to hang out with you. Um, okay. I have to get to class now. Goodbye. Um, bye. That was weird. Brookie always wants to hang out with me after school. Man, I hope I didn't do something wrong. I mean, I always text her when I, like, escape off to the bathroom during class. And maybe it got her in trouble and she got mad at me. I don't know. I'll talk to her about it at lunch. Ugh, none of this even looks like something I would consume. Hey, Brookie, doesn't everything look delicious? No, I'm not going to eat anything. Why, you got the stomach flu? No, I just don't want to eat anything, okay? Whoa, Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, um, you could drink some of this water. Whoa, be careful with that, Molly. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to almost spill water on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing everything wrong today, Brookie. It, it's fine. Just, just don't spill water on me, okay? Why? Are you going to short circuit or something? <laughs> uh, no, that, that's not even funny, okay? All right. Sorry. What's going on with my BFF? I mean, seriously. Hi, Large Mudge. Everything looks delish today. Oh, so glad you like it. I was gonna put anchovies on the pizza, but I know you kids don't like that too much. It's good protein, though. Ew, fish on my pizza? Don't even think about it, Large Marge. Why are you so sad, Molly? Well, you see, my best friend is... She's just acting differently. Oh, well, maybe she's just having a bad day. We all have those. Yeah, maybe. I need to find out what Brookie's doing right now. She doesn't want to hang out at my house? That's so weird. She was grumpy and jumped back from the water that I almost spilled on her? I mean, well, that's not that weird, but sort of. I want to know what's going on with her. Are we not BFFs anymore? I have to make sure she knows that I'm not spying on her. If she finds that out, man, she won't want to be my friend at all. What's she working on? One more adjustment, and it be perfect. What is that? Brookie doesn't work on things in the garage. <gasps> My best friend is a robot! Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, better run. Oh my god. My best friend! She's not real! She's a robot! I gotta tell Daisy. Daisy! 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 Molly, shh. I'm trying to do my homework. Big surprise there, but, 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 but. Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Molly. Have you? Um, because that would be creepy and we should probably move out of Brookhaven. No, 
worse. Worse than a ghost? What could it be? My best friend, Brookie, sh 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 she's a, a robot. What? What are you talking about? Look, all of the signs point towards robot. She didn't want to hang out after school. Weird. She didn't want me to spill water on in the lunchroom because I think she would short circuit. Weird. Then I just went by her house to spy on her and... You spied on your best friend? I had to. And turns out she's not my best friend. She's a robot version of my best friend. I saw her building something for her robotness. Body. Whatever you want to call it. Robotness? Is that even a word? <laughs> uh, no. I just made it up. But anyway. Why didn't they come to me to school people on how to speak, um, awesome words? I obviously know what I'm doing. What? What are you even talking about? <laughs> anyway. I'm telling you, she was working on her robot body. Holy guacamole! You don't believe me, do you, Daisy? You never believe me! You always say these are tall tales, fairy tales! Oh, this is no fairy tale, Molly. And yes, I believe you. Truth is, robots have come a long way in the last ten years. And I think this is absolutely a possibility. You do? Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that I was being ridiculous. No, Molly, we definitely have to test it. See if it's a robot or not. Yeah, tomorrow we'll spill lunch on Robot Brookie and see what happens. Good plan, Molly, good plan. There she is, Molly. She's not eating anything for lunch. Yeah, it must be her battery's low. She looks like she's about to fall asleep. That's it, Robot Brookie. You're going down. And then you're going to tell me where my real friend is. All right, Molly, let's do this. Brookie, I'm really sorry about this, but uh, what are you doing with that watering can? Do I look like a flower to you? Like I said, Brookie, I'm sorry about this. What? What? Tells me cafeteria's closed. Um, everybody should run! <laughs> ah, crazy psycho robot, crazy psycho robot, running right after me. Molly, you wanted to do this, it's not your fault. Sure, blame me, blame me. Hey everyone in Brookhaven, it's Brittany, your friendly news one person, yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you that I'm here at the scene of, oh my god, here comes the crazy robot! Um, we have to make this interview very quick. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Well, I was serving lunch, and this crazy robot started going crazy. School's closed for the day because of it, and, um, well, tomorrow we should be back open. I'm serving sauerkraut sandwiches. I have to just say, I don't miss the sauerkraut sandwiches from when I went to school there. Well, then you don't know what you're talking about. They're delicious. And you should probably run. Crazy Psycho Robot's right behind you. Oh my god, guys! You heard it here first! Brittany live at the scene, being chased by the Crazy Psycho Robot! Stay inside! Lock your doors, people! Stay safe! Wait, is that one of the students? Run! Um, I'm so afraid I couldn't run! No, run! Seriously! Okay, I was afraid though! I thought maybe if I didn't move, she wouldn't see me. Wrong answer, kid! <sighs> oh my god, this is the craziest day of my of my professional life. Time to lock the doors and board up all the windows! I'm just so glad I got home safe. But now I want to know, if that's Robot Brookie, where's real Brookie? Hmm. Having that robot take over my life was the best thing I ever did. Eating snacks on the couch while everybody else does homework. Perfect. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Um, we have to make this interview very quick. I got sandwiches from when I went to school there. Well, then you don't- Stay safe. Wait, is that one of the students? Run! Um, I'm- Oh my gosh. Maybe having a robot me was a really bad idea. Oopsie. Daisy, I'm so glad that this is our first day.
day of daycare. Look at all these toys we can play with. Yeah, everyone seems so nice, Molly. I really like it here. Me too. Oh, it's, it's, whoa. Look at that toddler. It looks just, just like you. What? I have a doppelganger, a twin. Whoa. Yeah, um, maybe when you get older, you'll look just like that, Daisy. I bet I will, Molly, for sure. Let's play with something. I don't think so. You two are total little brats. You need a nap. We just got here. We just woke up. It, it's not nap time. Yeah, it's not nap time. Wait, where are you taking me? Hey, I want to go back with my sister. Daisy, wait up. I'll save you. I'll save you, Daisy. I'm coming. Ugh, it's so little. I can't walk fast. I really can't even walk at all. I'm more just crawling. Oh, I a little cute little baby. No, put me down. I have to save my sister. Ow, you sort of dropped me. Stop dropping me. Excuse me, I'm in charge of these babies. And they need to go take a nap. Come on, little brat. I don't want you to call me a brat anymore. It's not nice. Oh, Molly, you made it into the nap room. Now, you two get in those beds and don't get out for the rest of the day. Whoa, they need to fire her. She is a really mean one. She is mean. I want to go home. Daisy, don't cry. I have an idea. <laughs> it's a way we can escape. Is what? What should we do? We should play hide and seek on her. She's kind of a bully. Okay, um, who hides first? No, Daisy, we both hide from her. Okay, let's try to sneak out and hide on her. This good plan, Molly. You're so smart. I had to hit cops. <laughs> Ooh, um. No, don't go in there, Daisy. That's that's where they make stinky doo-doos. Okay, where could we hide? Um, um. What? Where did those babies go? I told them that they had to stay in their beds for the rest of the day. Hurry, Molly. She knows we're gone. Molly, hurry up. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get caught. I just know it. How about right here, Molly? There's a good spot, right? I don't think so. You're gonna get caught right away. I'm gonna go hide over here. Um, ooh, bumper cars. No, Molly, she'll know where we are if we go play that. Don't do it. Staff office. <laughs> Time out corner. She'll never look for me in here. <laughs> I'm brilliant. Because why would she think I'd actually be in timeout? Where are you, babies? Hello, where are you? Daisy, come hide in here. Too late, Molly. Too late. <sighs> Thirsty. Ah, there you are. I knew that you couldn't stay hidden for long. Ah, you found me. I need a bottle. Ah, I need a bottle, too. Oh, and there's your little bratty sister. Now, if you listened to what I said and took a nap, you wouldn't be so bratty. I'm not tired. I'm just thirsty. Ugh. Okay, don't be a brat. I'll give you something to drink. Okay. Well, that's nice of you because I really need something to drink. Stop crying already. Goodness gracious. Okay. Look, I'm making your bottle, okay? Okay, I guess I won't cry then. But, um... I feel like, I feel like, uh-oh. Oh, Ew, gross. You threw up before I even fed you the bottle? What's wrong with you? You can sit over there since you're like all throwy-uppy and stuff. Aw. Ah, that hurt my feelings. Oh, my gosh. Why'd I get this job? Oh, here you go. Here's your bottle. Now, where's that little bratty sister of yours? I don't know, but my tummy feels so full. Ha! Ah. Does that mean you're gonna throw up again? Ew! No, I'm not gonna throw up. Okay, well, uh, maybe a little. You stay here. Your sister will be back in no time. Oh, man. We have to try to hide better than last time. It didn't work! Here's your bratty sister. I need to potty! I need to potty! Ugh! You aren't potty trained yet? O-M-G. Well, just hold it till I go get a diaper, okay? Molly, I really want to go home. I really want to go poopy. <laughs> wow, you 
really do cry a lot. Maybe I'm cloudy than I thought. Daisy, that's not very nice. Okay, Molly, well, that's the perfect time to go hide. Yeah, and let's find a potty on the way. I really need a diaper change. <laughs> Molly, you stop farting. Ew, it's gross and I'm following you. Um, okay, well, we could go in and change ourselves. And then we could go hide again. Sounds like a good plan. Definitely a good one. Oh, wait, look, there's some potties. I could just sit on the potty. Uh, uh, I'm not big enough. <laughs> also, I don't know how to give myself a diaper change. Will you change my diaper? No, Marty, I can't change your diaper. I'm not old enough. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go hide with the poo-poo in my pants then. Well, if you have to, Marley, but let's escape. Good idea. Wait, which is the way out? Okay, there's a way out. Come over here, Daisy. Coming, Molly. Stop picking me up. I need to escape. Stop it. You're not even that much bigger than me. Uh, Molly, she's a caregiver. No, you don't get to hold me. I don't want you to. Molly, come on. I'm trying to, but this girl keeps picking me up. Uh-oh. There's the caregiver in charge. What are you? Ew, what's that smell? Oh, I told you. Hold on until I got a diaper. I couldn't hold it. I had to go poop. <laughs> OMG. I need a vacation. Oh, that's a stinky, rotten one. Oh, that's gross. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. Stop wiggling. I still have to give you a diaper change. Or maybe you just need a bath. I have to go potty again. Are you serious right now? You just went poo poo. How many poo poos can you have? Uh, I feel good. I'll go home and see my mommy. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me you two have a stomach bug or something. No, we're just babies. We poop a lot. What do you want from us? Okay, fine. There, there. Now, let me just change this stinky diaper. Gross. Okay, I've changed way too many diapers. Just sit on the potty, would you? I'm not big enough to sit on the potty. What are you doing? Lady, you don't even know me at all. Molly, oh my goodness. Uh, look, Molly, you went poo-poo on the potty. Good for you. Whoa, I did go poo-poo on the potty. Ha! Today's a good day. Because I went poo-poo on the potty. Oh boy, here we go. All right, I'm going to go hide. I can't deal with this caregiver anymore. Don't you dare pick me up. Go away. Go away! You can't just be wandering around by yourself. Ah, uh, yes I can. I'm a big kid now. Baby escape. <laughs> Look it. They even labeled it. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Can you find me? peek a -boo. Daisy, listen to me. Come underneath the stairs. You will find a vent. And a little sign that says baby escape. This will be the best hiding spot you've ever had. Okay, now let's see where this goes. Oh my God, it goes outside. Freedom, sweet freedom. Molly, look it. This is the best hide and seek I've ever done. Yeah, exactly. Now, where do we want to go? The mall, bumper cars. Molly, be careful. You're, you're crawling out into the stream. Don't worry, I look both ways, sort of. Whoa, water slides. I know, Molly, I think that's just a playground. We could definitely hide in that slide. Let's go before evil Sarah finds us. Good idea, Molly, good idea. I can go first, okay? No, because you don't need, you don't, okay, yeah, you do sort of know how to go up there and hide. You're gonna fall down, Daisy. Oh, boy. Ugh, I can't even climb up there. I'm too fat. Uh, uh, move over. She'll never find us here. <laughs> <laughs> Where did those babies go? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my job. I can't believe they just disappeared. Molly, Daisy, where are you? Come back, please. I need this job like my rent is due. I promise I'll be nicer. <laughs> Seed can't find us. Do, 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 do. <laughs> We've outsmarted her this time. When I find you, you're gonna be in timeout forever. Do you have a cell phone, Daisy? No, Molly, of course not. Why would I have a cell phone? Because then we could call Mom. I want to go home. I want to go home too, Molly. Right now, though, 
I think I'll do a little self-soothing with my pacifier. I just get a cry. I want my mommy! Ah! Honey green beans, Molly, what are you doing? Never mind, it's none of your business, and also nobody says green holy green beans, Daisy. I say holy green beans. No, it's holy guacamole or holy macaroni. It's not holy green beans. Whatever, Molly. That's not the point. What are you doing laying on the floor? I'm trying to think of something to do. I am so completely bored! So, yeah, Molly, I'm really bored too. Why don't we go outside and um, kick the soccer ball around? No, did that yesterday. Boring. Okay, well, we could, um, I don't know, watch the new episode of... Boring! I don't want to watch TV. Boring! Oh, my gosh. Well, we could, we could go get an ice cream. Yeah, I thought of that, except for I have no money. See, everything is just boring, 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 boring! I've got a great idea, Molly. We could have a sleepover. Yeah, except for the fact we already had a sleepover last weekend, and it's the same boring thing. We watch a movie, we eat popcorn. Boring, 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 boring. Now leave me alone to suffer in silence. If you don't have any good ideas, that is. I have a great idea. This isn't your typical sleepover. It's a one-color sleepover. One-color sleepover? What do you do? I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, Molly. One color. So you could only wear one color, play one color games, eat one color foods. Holy green beans, Daisy! That sounds like so much fun! I thought holy green beans wasn't something you actually say. Okay, well, I'm giving you some credit because you came up with a great idea. I can't wait to play this. It's not something you really play, Molly. It's like very serious. Everything's one color. And since I came up with the idea, the color is pink. Whoa, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, um, well, who are we going to invite? Bookie. Now, you call Bookie and um, let's see. Who else could we invite? Ooh, let's invite people but not tell them what the color is. <laughs> That'll make it much harder. But are you sure that's fail, Molly? Yeah, and if they wear the wrong color or eat the wrong things or whatever, then um, they'll have to do a challenge. Yeah! This sounds a little crazy, Molly. Sounds crazy fun. Hello? Hey, Brookie, it's me, Molly. Hey, Molly, what's up? Um, Tonight, Daisy and I are having an off-the-hook sleepover. You are? What are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to have a one-color sleepover, and you're invited. Oh, whoa, that sounds amazing. What color? Can't tell you. And if you choose the wrong color, the wrong foods, or the wrong games, then you have to do a challenge. <laughs> See you in an hour. Wait, Molly. Oh. <laughs> okay, I called Brookie. Sarah just texted me, and she wants to know what we're doing. Should we invite her? Yeah, we could make her do all sorts of challenges. Sounds perfect. Wait a minute. They'll know what the color is if we're wearing it. Ooh, I've got an idea. We'll wear all black clothing and tell them that underneath this is the actual color. Molly, this is getting really complicated. Why can't we just make it simple? Because your ideas are boring. Duh, get with the program. Daisy, why does your shirt have a B on it? Ah, uh, well, it's all I could find in my closet. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, your, your shirt should say D on it for Daisy. <laughs> I don't own very many black outfits, okay? I'm just really sunny and happy all the time, so I wear, like, pink and pink and also a lot of pink. <laughs> all right, our guests should be here any minute. Now, don't give away that the secret color is, well, you know, pink. I don't think they're ever going to guess it. Oh, me either. They'd never guess that your favorite color is pink. Let's just tell them I chose it. I hear Brookie's car. It's, she's pulling up right now. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Brookie, come on in. Uh-oh, Brookie didn't choose a white color. Well, you guys aren't wearing color at all. That's right, because we couldn't give away what the secret color is. But now you're going to have to do a crazy challenge. Are you ready for your first one since you chose the wrong color? Um, okay. To match your outfit. Oh, sorry. I had to try one. <laughs> you have to eat this entire bag of Doritos. It's the family size. Without burping or farting and without stopping. Whoa, that's a really big challenge. Yeah, if you're not me, I could eat these Doritos in one minute. Mm, well, you're pretty good. Yeah, but wait till you get to the bottom of the bag, and then you have to try to eat all the crumbs. 
maybe you should have checked before um, you came over what the color was. You didn't tell it what the color was, Molly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guess you're going to fail at this one color sleepover. I don't know how fun I think this is. I mean, I thought it was going to be fun, but oh my gosh, it sounds kind of crazy. I told you we should have just done my idea. Nonsense. Sarah will be here any minute and she won't have picked the right color. Hello, ding dong. Is anybody home? Let's get the sleepover started. Oh my gosh, Molly. She picked the white color. The white right color was pink? Duh. I should have totally thought of that. Ugh. Also, Dorito breath. Uh, yeah, you totally do have Dorito breath. Ugh. No burping or farting. Molly, how about puking? Can I do that? Ugh. So, um, did I pick the right color? Yeah, you picked the right color. How'd you know? Because all you ever wear is pink, so I figured it would just be easy for you to be pink. Now that we're all wearing pink, <laughs> I guess the challenge part of the sleepover is over. I didn't think any of this was a challenge, and also I'm pretty sure this is going to be lame. But I came because, like, I don't know, there's nothing else to do. Okay, Sarah, well, um, the first thing we need to do in our one-color sleepover is... This was my idea, Miss Bussy, so I'll tell everybody since it was my idea. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Dizzy, what's the first idea? We can only play something that is pink. Oh, I know. Let's go outside and like ride our bikes or something. I hope I get the pink bike. Yes, I get to ride a bike because I got a pink one. Let's see if Daisy gets to ride bikes. Which one are you gonna spawn, Daisy? No, no, I spawned a, oh, I can't ride this. You're right, you can't, it's yellow. Get off of it before you have to do a challenge. Sorry, Molly Jeepers, you're taking this one color thing really too far. No, you wanted to have a one color sleepover, we've gotta do it the right way. Um, guys, this is a little cray-cray. Also, I have a little bit of a stomach ache. Nope, your scooter isn't pink. Get off of it. Or you're going to have to do another challenge. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I could eat any more Doritos if I tried. Well, looks like I'm the one that won this challenge. I didn't know it was a competition, Molly. Ah, I just drove through Sarah's stretch pink limo. It looks like actually Sarah won again. Doesn't that just figure? The school bully is the one that wins all the challenges. And now I just look lame. Well, Molly. <clears throat> Ew, no burping. I can't help it. There was too many Doritos. <laughs> I feel kind of better now, though. You guys both had pink things, so Sarah doesn't automatically win. But you guys can have a race to see who does. Yeah, Sarah. I'm driving a car. How much of a race do you think this is going to be? I don't know, but let's start um, and go down to the end of the street. And whoever gets down there first wins. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this huge thing around. Limos are amazing though. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> so far I am wi not winning. Not winning! <laughs> Loser, I win. Aww. Man, watching um, Brookie eat all of that that bag of Doritos is making me kind of hungry. I'm hungry too. For our second thing at the one color sleepover, we can only eat foods that are pink. No problem. I'll eat all the foods that are pink. La 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 la. Let's see what we've got in the fridge. Um, guys, I don't think we have any pink food. Ah, we're gonna starve. There's no pink food and we don't have any, any way of getting any. <laughs> this is the worst sleepover ever! Molly, you won't die. The sleepover's only for, you know, overnight. Yeah, Molly, you could go that long without eating, right? What? No! Uh, do I have to handle everything? Okay, I need four pink smoothies. DoorDash will be here in ten minutes. What? Do the smoothies have ice cream in them? Of course they do, and they're pink. Duh. <laughs> Molly, why are you crying? I'm crying because Sarah got his pink smoothies and I'm really happy about it because I'm hungry. But at the same time, she keeps winning every challenge. Ah! Well, get over it. I'm amazing. I can't help it. Well, Molly, I guess the one color sleepover isn't working out so good with the challenges. Maybe we could just make it fun. No! I'm going to win all these challenges. I mean, not the ones that Sarah already won, but I'm going to win more. Molly, oh, okay. 
I can't tell her what to do. She's just stuck in her ways. Well, I hate to admit this, but man, this is delicious. You're welcome. I have to go um, potty now, though. Well, Molly, you can only go potty if there's a pink toilet and pink toilet paper. Seriously? Are you being crazy right now? <laughs> Maybe we should make an exception for the toilet. Yeah, exactly. I don't really think anybody owns a pink toilet, do they? Yes? Have you not seen the 1950s before? Everybody owned a pink toilet! Except for our house is modern, so no, it doesn't. Be right back! Then we should lay out our sleeping bags, guys. Because, you know, um, we should basically be getting ready for bed. Well, I laid my sleeping bag out over here. What? That's not pink. Ha ha ha, you lose the challenge. Okay, guys, I gotta try to, I gotta try to get a, a pink sleeping bag to spawn. Oh, I don't wanna lay down. I wanna spawn a pink sleeping bag. Um, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Come on, pink sleeping bag. Yes! Oh my gosh, can anybody else spawn one? Because I did, I did, I did. Well, Molly, technically you already spawned one. Nope, that wasn't my sleeping bag. It was Dad's. I had to get this one out of the attic. Yeah, that's it. All right, Sarah, can you? Can you? Nope, green! <laughs> All right, Pookie, what'd you get? I'm going next, Molly. And uh, let's see if I can spawn a pink one. Please just let me win one challenge. Just one. Mmm, delicious. Daisy got red. Oh my gosh, I'm the only one that's going to get a pink sleeping bag. Yeah, but Molly, it took you two tries, so if Bookie gets it on the first try, a pink one, then she wins. <gasps> well, that seems really fair. What? I win? Oh my gosh. That, but, but, but. Okay, at least Brookie got it, not Sarah. Yes, I'm so happy. This one color sleepover was super fun. Yeah. Super fun. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, you should have just enjoyed having fun rather than being so competitive. Yeah, Molly. Everybody leave me alone! I'm never going to a one-color sleepover ever again! And also my stomach kind of hurts. I really should have eaten an apple. You can't eat an apple. It's red. Ugh. on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, uh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, calm down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? 
No, I'm having another bad day, and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that my best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class, Um, everybody come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense too? Wow, this test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over. Quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie, Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in, the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says... Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must still be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh... Oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and, and I don't think I was mean to you. And if I have been, I, I... We don't want to hear it. 
Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully. You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. This is going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> my life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly. Do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug. <laughs> except for, except for Brookhaven. We're like ghosts. We can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly. Here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug. It'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you. Even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything. My BFF. Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too. Daisy, look at our bedroom. Okay, Molly, I'm looking at it. What about it? It is like the most boring bedroom in the entire world. Molly, I don't think it's so bad. Our bed is pretty comfy. Yeah, except for the fact that look at the walls. It looks like a prison in here. Molly, <laughs> yeah, you're kind of right. It doesn't look like jail. Yeah. Who, who wants to live in this room? I mean, I'm a little girl. I don't want to have, like, these, like, brick stone walls. It's weird. Well, Molly, maybe we could um, redecorate our room. Oh, my gosh, Jiminy Cricket. That's an amazing idea, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. I think it's a cool idea, too. Okay, well, let's get started. Stop dancing, Daisy. So will Molly, I love to dance. Do 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 Jump on the bed then, Daisy. Dun 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 dun. Okay, Molly, in all seriousness, let's do this. Okay, Daisy, let's start with the walls. Okay, Daisy, the first thing I think we should do is change this wall color. It is just so ugly. The first thing I want to do is find a better pattern. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty. I think I'll pick that one. Do you like that, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, I love that color. It's so pretty. Okay, what do you think about blue? Let's try it. No, I don't like that color. Try a different one. No, that, one, that one's not good either. No. That, that one... That one is okay, but maybe try pink or a different color blue. Okay, Daisy. No, that's purple. I don't, I don't like that color. Oh, I love that pink. No, Daisy, it's not going to be pink. We'll pick blue. Okay? Okay, Molly. Okay, that's that one's pretty good. Okay, we're going to paint this wall. Ready, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, do it. Okay, let's do the next wall. Wow, Daisy, look at these walls. I think that they look better in pink. What are you talking about, Daisy? I like them in blue. Molly, no, I want them pink. Ugh, Daisy. 
How about this, Daisy? Do you like this color? Yeah, Molly, I love it. Let's do it. Okay, Daisy, I'll repaint all of the walls from the blue to the pink just to make you happy. Okay, Molly, yay! Okay, now we need to get rid of this disgustingly colored carpet. It's just so ugly. Well, what color should we make it, Molly? I don't know. I think we should just make it like white or something. It's just so ugly. I know, Molly, it really is. Okay, let's see. Hey, that's much better, don't you think, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, that looks much nicer. Okay, great. Now we get to do the fun part. We get to choose our furniture and our bedspread. Oh, boy, Molly, let's choose our bedding next. Okay, Daisy, let's do it. Can we have pink in that too, Molly? Ugh, Daisy, we'll see. You love pink, don't you, Daisy? I love pink, Molly. Oh my gosh, Daisy, I love this one. It's so bright and colorful. Okay, Molly, well, we have to make the pillows match, so let's do that next. Oh my gosh, Molly, that looks amazing. Thank you, Daisy. I think I'm good at um, designing bedrooms. Yeah, Molly, we both are. Okay, now let's paint the window trim, because that's super ugly, too. I want to paint it white. I agree, Molly. We should paint it white. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, does it have any other patterns? I don't know. Let's just try, like, just plain white. I agree. Yeah, that's perfect. Molly, our bedroom is looking so pretty. Yeah, Daisy, it really is. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of the windows now. Okay, Molly, hurry. I want to see what the rest of our room's going to look like. Yeah, me too, Daisy. I bet it's going to look amazing. One more window to go, Daisy. Oh my gosh, Molly, it's so pretty. I can't wait to hang things on the wall. And also, um, just decorate the walls. Oh my gosh, so far, our new bedroom looks amazing. Now we're going to get rid of some of our furniture and put in all of our decorations. It's going to be amazing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is repaint our desk because it's like super ugly and we don't like it. So I think we're going to paint it. What color are we going to paint it, Daisy? Molly, I think we should paint it like a purple color. That way it'll match our bedspread. No, not that color, Molly. Um, maybe a little lighter purple. I kind of like that color, but I like the lighter color purple. Okay, well, let's try to find a lighter color purple. Tail, that's perfect, Molly. Um, we can't change the color of the chair, Daisy. What? No way. Yeah, sorry, Daisy, we can't. But we can paint our nightstand. Make that white, Molly. Okay, I'll make it white. Tail, that's perfect. Now we need to decorate our room because it looks really plain. I don't really know why we have all these books in our closet. We can put those somewhere else. We really need some um, clothes storage in our closet. So I'm going to um, go ahead and put our clothes in here. First, I've got to change the carpet because I don't know why it didn't change it. So I'm just going to fix that first. Okay guys, now I'm in my closet and we have like no clothes storage in here at all. So I think what we should do is just put in some clothes storage for our clothes. That's what I'm going to put in the closet right now. Hopefully it fits in here. Okay, I think it does. <laughs> oh my gosh, you went to the outside. Okay, there, perfect. Now we have somewhere to put our clothes. At least for now. I might build like a fancier one at some point, but this is good enough for now. Now we need to go and decorate our walls. Actually, first maybe we should get a bookshelf in here. Like, I could put a bookshelf on this wall. Yeah, like, um, 
Maybe that one's like really big. Maybe I find a different one that's not so big. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This one would be pretty good because it's like, yeah, that one's really good. I like this one. Okay, I'll put it like right here in the middle. Molly, I don't like that. No, Molly, I want to have a, like a dressel. Let's choose a dressel instead. Okay, Daisy. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know, Daisy. This doesn't really match. Well, just paint it, Molly. Okay, I'll paint it. What color should I paint it? White, Molly. Like the rest. Okay, I'll paint it white. Yeah, because we have pink walls and we have like a crazy colored bedspread. So I just want to make sure that it's not like too like, ah! Yeah, you're right, Daisy. We should paint the furniture white. That way, like, the walls really pop. photo of me and all my friends i'm gonna put this on top of our dresser it's just so awesome and now we have to put all of our toys and stuffed animals in so let's see where we're gonna put them uh, yeah miley first things first we need my my stuffed octopus okay okay daisy we'll put that on there first Where do you want to put it, Daisy? Molly, I think that I want to put it on a dressel. Okay, Daisy. Here you go. I love it, Molly. He's so cute. Have you given him a name yet? Yeah, his name is Oscar. <laughs> That's awesome, Daisy. That's so cute. Okay, now I want to put my stuffed unicorn on the bed. Okay, Molly. Let's do it. <laughs> No, he's facing the wrong way. Ugh. Okay, well, I guess we'll put him. Where should we put him? Molly, I think we're going to have to put him. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could put him on the floor since he's so big. Yeah, that's a good idea, Daisy. I'll put him right here. <laughs> Molly's so cute. Okay, what else should we put in here, Daisy? We should put a we should put a laptop on our desk. Good idea. Okay, Molly, this way you could do your homework. Homework? No way! All I want to do is play Roblox. Okay, now we're gonna put some awesome posters on the wall. Molly, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, let's put this one right here, Daisy. What should we paint it as, Molly? Okay, I'm going to pick something right now. Okay, Daisy, are you ready for the big new bedroom reveal? Molly, I'm so excited. This is going to be amazing. I know, Daisy, I'm so excited. Come on, let's go look at our new room. I'm going to open the door in three, two, one. <gasps> Molly is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Daisy, let's start over here. I put up an I believe in myself unicorn because, you know, power of the unicorn. Molly, it's amazing. And then I have my little stuffed unicorn over here. I'm going to play with him. You can play with the uh, um, octopus. Yeah, I love Oscar. He's so cute. Power of the unicorn. <laughs> Molly is <laughs> so cute. I know. I love our new room. Okay, anyway, I have pictures of us over here of um, us and our friends. Molly, look at the little puppy. He's so cute. Yeah, he reminds me of our dog when, when she was little. And then over here, of course, I couldn't forget the treats. Oh, Molly, that looks delicious. Yeah, and over here we have our purple desk and our um, computer and then our beautiful bedspread our comfy bed we painted our walls pink and i just realized i painted our walls the exact color of my shirt <laughs> daisy what are you doing i playing ping pong on the computer oh wow that looks like tons of fun it is molly it's really fun 
Well, what do you think of our new room, Daisy? I love it, Molly. It's the most beautiful room I've ever seen. Yeah, me too, Daisy. I think it's amazing. I think it's almost time for bed, though. <sighs> and I'm super tired after doing all of this remodeling. <sighs> Come on, Daisy. Let's go to sleep. Good night, Molly. Hey, Toy Hero fans. If you liked this remodel of our new Roblox Bloxburg bedroom, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys. <sighs> Molly, stop snowing.